Hello, this is my dog Sansa. We're going to show you how we clean her ears and all the benefits of doing so. Um, she is a standard poodle, so she does have floppy ears that hang down. Um, this can cause the ears to become very um, stinky or just hold um, fluids more, um, whether that be from playing outside in the in water or um, not properly getting cleaned or dried after a bath and just moisture from general activity um, so we we have to take really good care of those ears or um, it can be a breeding ground for infection pain and just general discomfort and nasty smells uh, I use a product she does not really like like it so <laughs> um, not because it's painful but she, she just doesn't like having things in her ear I use a product from her vet it's called Malaket plus not really sure um, it's called the tries DTA flush as well um, it is made in America and it is patented. Um, I'm not really sure about what exactly the ingredients are. I have never really read it, but it's got some, oh, it's got some glycerin and it's got some glycolic acid, which we know can break up, you know, gunk and whatnot on our skin. Um, and for, for, for after using, we are instructed to wash our hands. Um, because of possible allergic reactions. I've never had an allergic reaction to this and it is um, it will get on your hands when you use it in your dog's ear because they are likely to shake their ears and it is likely to drip out of their ears. Um, it's easier to do this when they are relaxed. So after, you know, during a cuddle session is a good time when she's just laying here on the couch with me this table happens to be here i don't know why she's sitting her head on it but um she looks comfortable and she does see this bottle in my hand so she knows what's coming because we tend to do this a couple times a week so um she's probably not the most excited but it is what it is we have to take care of those ears and then we just squeeze it in there and then we massage it. This helps with smells. Remember to shake the bottle before you put this in their ear. You just wanna massage at the base of the ear, like this. And um, for about 30 seconds to a minute, it's good, because then you know it's actually in the ear. And she's relaxed. You, um, you wanna use this product however often your vet asks you to. There are other over-the-counter products that I feel work decently as well. Um, you just have to, you know, ask around um, at the store and using that product once or twice a week should be sufficient. If it's not working well, then you can ask your vet for something more, um, something that's stronger um, or, you know, just ask your vet first uh, about any product that you are putting in in your in your pet in your dog so this was what was recommended to me by the doctor and um, I by the vet and I um, I just continue to use it um, it doesn't break the bank um, if I can recall it was probably less than $30 for that whole bottle um, and it's now almost time for the other ear so we're gonna take a a, either a cotton ball or a um, paper towel works to just wipe the outside of the ear. Mm, you know, you can go in there, but you see, she doesn't really like that. <laughs> but it's not painful, it's just uncomfortable. And her ears are pretty clean because we do this pretty often. Um, I don't like to let her ears get really dirty. It's okay. And now it's time for the other ear. We'll probably turn the other way and she'll probably lay her head on my on my lap for the other side thank you so much for watching we um appreciate your um 
views and let us know what you think and if you have any tips for cleaning your poodle's ears or just any long eared floppy eared pet you have <laughs> and say bye Sansa say bye